can't obviously believe that Watchmen, Yahoo, and Debora did not pay me to do the intro for White It Out 4 to deceive the masses. The true Israelites are the so-called blacks, so-called Hispanics and Native Americans scattered throughout the earth. The Judah team has an agenda to make all the tribes Hamite. Matthew 24.4 says, To take heed that no man deceive you. Oh. No, not really Jesus. And prepare thyself. And prepare yourself. Come on. To the search of their father. To the search of your father. If you don't know who your father is, you won't know who your nation is. You won't know your nationality. You understand? We're here to tell you that you're a child of Zion. Children That's Israel. right! Abraham, you ever heard of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the Bible? Well, Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Israel had 12 sons, which became 12 tribes. These make up the nation of Israel who are still on this earth to this day. Jesus Christ was without the nation of Israel. From the tribe of Judah. Moses, you ever heard of Moses? He was an Israelite from the tribe of Levi. Ever heard of Samson? You a strong brother look like. You heard about Samson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Samson was an Israelite from the tribe of Dan. Christianity, in other words, right? Now this is our, now this is crazy. Do you know him? Never met him a day before in your life, right? He was raised in the same exact religion, right? But when I asked him about the commandments, he couldn't name them in order, right? But if your favorite song came on right now, you would know it. What's your favorite song? <laughs> okay. You, do you remember the Pledge of Allegiance? Because it was drilled in you. You remember your ABCs? It was drilled in you. If you were taught the commandments of God in Christianity, you understand? Even if you hadn't recited them in a long time, you still know them. That's the point, right? So it's important that we know what the commandments of God are to, to, to make God happy. All right? Because judgment day is coming. All right? Come on now. Verse 3. Yeah. For this is the love of God. What's the love of God? That we keep His commandments. Right. And His commandments are not grievous. His commandments are not hard to keep. What's hard about not committing adultery? Like I, I presume that's your lady, right? Your wife? You would be highly upset if another man laid with her, wouldn't you? Of course, because that's adultery. It's not hard not to do that. What's hard about not stealing? Yeah, so yeah, so you shouldn't be you shouldn't be lusting after another man's wife either. You feel me? If you understand that she has a husband, you should say double honor to your father and your husband and keep it moving. That's right. You shouldn't say, are you happy? Huh? She's married. You understand? We read where the commandments of God are not grievous. They're not all. But you can't love God and hate his people. Right? That's what has happened here in America. Everybody claims to love God, but when we talk about who the people of God are, it's a problem at this point. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28, verse 64 through 68. We're just reading the Bible. The Holy Bible. According to public law, 97-280, the Bible is the word of God. And I didn't make public policy. Blame Ronald Reagan for that. All right? Deuteronomy 28. Verse 64 through 68. Now this is identifying marker. One identifying marker who God's people is. Just one. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28. Verse 64. Bring it out. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Now trip off this. Give me James 1 and 1. Hold that. The, the scriptures say Israel will be scattered among all people. To be scattered means to be removed by force. 
You feel me? Like I didn't jump on, my people didn't jump on a canoe and just said, gee, I want to go to the land of the free home of the brave. You feel me? They were scattered by force. North, Central, and South America, Middle East, different parts of Africa, Europe, Asia. You understand? My people have been scattered as prophesied by the Torah through the mouth of Moses. James 1 and 1. Watch this. We're going to show you. James 1 and 1. What does it say? The book of James, chapter 1, verse 1. Come on. James, uh -huh. a servant of God. A servant of who? Of God. Come on. And of the Lord Jesus Christ. So he's a follower of Christ. Right? Come on. The 12, to the 12 tribes. To the who? 12 tribes. Uh -huh. Which are scattered abroad. Uh -huh. Greetings. See? My brother. Now James was a disciple of Christ. Right? And in the very first words of his book or his letter he wrote, he said to the 12 tribes scattered abroad. That's right. Greetings. Right? Because during his time, the 12 tribes have been scattered. Ran out of, out of Jerusalem by the Romans. You see that? All right, let's get back to Deuteronomy 64. So we know when it says, I will scatter thee, he's talking about the 12 tribes. 12 tribes have been scattered, all right? Deuteronomy 28, verse 64. It's just the Bible. No need to get offended. It's just a good old book. Let's get it out. Verse 64. Yeah. And the Lord shall scatter thee uh -huh. among all people. The 12 tribes have been scattered. Prophecy, right? Come on. From one, from the one end of the earth, uh -huh. even unto the other. Yeah. And there thou shalt serve other gods. Yeah. Which neither thou nor thy fathers That's have true. known. So now, no. so now it's going into yeah. the twelve tribes being scattered. But not only that, they take on the religious philosophy of their oppressors. You see? Come on, Hebrew. Even uh -huh. wood and stone. You got your wooden cross, Christianity. Islam perpetrates a stone, a cobblestone. Two religions that can't be found in the Bible. Oh. Christianity is nowhere in the Bible. Nowhere. Islam is nowhere in the Bible. Judaism is nowhere in the Bible. God said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Right. Jesus Christ never sinned because he kept God's commandments. It's that simple. Right, but because Israel, my forefathers didn't keep God's commandments, the judgment was, you're going to be scattered. And you're going to serve other gods. Right? And we are. You feel me? Our people in Egypt, you can find black Mormons now. Like, how is that possible? The Book of Mormon talk about uh, black folks being made out of... What, what, what's that in the Book of Mormon? They were cursed black. Like, this is a curse. It says in the Book of Mormon. You understand? So how are there Negro Mormons? That's second Nephi, yeah. chapter one. Yeah, so he, he, ain't, he knows, he's done the research. All right, come on now. Prophecy of Israel being scattered and serving other gods. All right, come on now. And among these nations uh -huh. shall thou find no ease. No ease, being gunned down left and right by the police and even by ourselves. There's no ease. In other words, when we turned our back on our God, we called hell. We were kicked out of our homeland, right. forced under man-made religions, lost our identity, the whole night. Uh. That's why today most of us believe we're black. When you ask them about a nationality, you give a color instead of a land. Who are your fathers? Who are your fathers? Right? Well, we're African-American, but those are two continents. Africa, Leo, Leo Africanus discovered certain parts of Africa. And Americo Vespucci, uh, America is named after. But those are two Roman explorers. Well, how am I African American? Brother, what's your nationality? Huh? What's your nationality, my brother? Huh? Huh? Hey, you're going to me uh, category. You think huh? about it. So what, what, is, what, is, what does nation mean? A nation, you got to have a nation. You got to have a place. Right. From. Right. Right. Yeah. So, so, so where, where are we from before the slave ship? Mostly Africa. Which part? Yeah. Which part? Yeah. Not exactly sure, because like you know, you got like you got a lot of people that teach you a lot of different names. Right. So, I'm saying. Like, I'm saying. Like, true about this. If you go over, if you go over to Zimbabwe today, when he say I'm, I'm when he say I'm Zimbabwe, or when he say I'm African. you say yeah. So 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 if you go over to Nigeria, he gonna say I'm Nigerian. He gonna say yeah. 
Well, you're going to say Nigeria. That because Nigeria, <laughs> that's about this, because Nigeria is a country of the continent of Africa. Oh, yeah, I know. Africa is not one solid nationality. So I ask you your nation. I ain't ask you your continent. I ain't ask you your color. What's your nation? Give me Joe A. Nick. Joe, Joe A. Nick. See, it's very important because if you ask anybody else what's their nationality, if he's from France, he's going to say I'm French. If he's from Italy, he's going to say I'm Italian. Right? If he say I'm from China, he's going to say I'm Chinese. These are people that are naming countries on continents. What's your nation? What's your language? What's your language? Good question. We don't got none, so that would make us what? Lost? Hey, that's what people are lost. That's how, that's how they try to do it. I need Matthew 15, 24. <laughs> now, trip off, now trip off according to the Bible who's lost. According to the Bible. Give me Matthew 15, 24 before you come right back. Don't just come. Matthew 15, 24. If you trip off this, brother, if you don't know what land you come from, if you don't know what language you use to speak, you feel me? If you don't know anything about the law you keep, if you don't know anything about your holidays or holy days, what would that make? Lost? Because nobody else has this problem. Everybody that's a Gentile know who they are. Alright? Matthew 15, 24. What does it say? The book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. Come on. But he answered and said. This is Jesus talking. You heard of Jesus? Okay, come on. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That lost sheep of the house of Israel. If you're lost, that means you're an Israelite. Because only the Israelites don't know who they are. See? Give me that Job 8 and 8 you was holding to give me Jeremiah 17. I was talking to somebody back home about that. Yeah. Uh, like every time I preach it, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm from South Central LA. You know, I'm out here training. So, like, uh, we got like, a little bit more, more of a variety of people. So, I've been learning here and there. Yeah, I got a lot of brothers that, uh, that, are more like, that know their stuff is more Muslim. Muslim, yeah. That, and that's a false, that's a false oh, religion yeah, I, too. That's, what I was about to say that's that. false too. Yeah, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of like, yeah. yeah. Because you're about this, a, mu a Muslim follows the religion of Islam. But, that, but there, look at this, there's no Muslim language. There's no Muslim, what, what land is called Muslim? All right, brother. Hey, for God to keep his commandments. All right, sister. Y'all be blessed. May God bless y'all, all right? There's no, land, there's no land called Muslim. There's no language called Muslim. There's no flag called Muslim. You understand? Yeah, I understand. So, what about this? Job 8 and 8. Watch this. The book of Job, uh -huh. chapter 8, verse 8. For inquire, I pray thee, uh -huh. of the former age. The former age means the past. We should, we should be searching our history. Because without a past, we don't exist, bro. Alright? So, inquire, I pray thee, of the former age. And then my brother going to bring out some history in a minute. Validate what we're talking about. Come on now. And prepare thyself. And prepare yourself. Come on. To the search of their father. To the search of your father. If you don't know who your father is, you won't know who your nation is. You won't know your nationality. You understand? We're here to tell you that you're a child of Zion. Children That's Israel. right! Abraham. You ever heard of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the Bible? Well, Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Israel had 12 sons and became 12 tribes. These make up the nation of Israel who are still on this earth to this day. Jesus Christ was out the nation of Israel from the tribe of Judah. Moses, you ever heard of Moses? He was an Israelite from the tribe of Levi. Ever heard of Samson? Who a strong brother look like? You know about Samson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Samson was an Israelite from the tribe of Dan. You feel me? Israelite, all throughout the Bible, everybody you read, Isaiah, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Habakkuk, Michael, Jesus, Peter, Paul, John, all That's these, right. all well, these you know. were Israelites. Right. They knew their nationality. So when we ask our people, they give us colors or they give us land mass, and they never give us their father. Mm. You see? And without that key information, I, that makes you close. Okay? So you're a Hebrew Israelite. You're not black or an African or a Muslim. You understand? When you see the true Jews are black, we're talking about us as a people. Because, they, because that's who we, we identify with. You understand? But we're from the tribe of Judah or various tribes of Israel. 